Hi, this is Josh from greendropship.com, and today we're going to talk about what CSV files are and how to use them to import multiple products to your Shopify store. So to get started, let's talk about what a CSV file is. CSV stands for Comma Separated Values. Basically what this means is that it uses commas to separate each individual value. So for instance, on a spreadsheet, this will be able to separate the body of your, like the product description from the price and quantity and other aspects uh, that you need to, to run your store. CSV files are generally used to exchange data in large amounts. So this is really helpful, say, for instance, you're uploading multiple products to your Shopify store. This can save you a lot of time by uploading one file. This is also really helpful when you're exporting and importing data. You can do it in one click and it's really easy. So how exactly do you create and edit CSV files? Well, you can use Microsoft Excel and Google Sheets and other free programs out there. So if you are using Excel to edit a CSV file, each column is separated by a comma to indicate where each value begins and ends. So it may seem a little bit complicated at first, but CSV files are actually really easy to edit, create, and use to improve your Shopify store. So let's get started with actually importing products to our Shopify store. The first thing that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to download a CSV file which we're going to use to import products to our Shopify store. So once you log on to your Green Dropship members account, you're going to see your dashboard over here, and right here you're going to see your data feeds and inventory levels. So for Shopify, you're just going to scroll down, and right here you're going to click this. Now it's going to be different than a traditional CSV file, because this Shopify file has already been pre-formatted to meet Shopify's requirements. So let's go over why these are different. So I'm going to start off by downloading the regular unformatted CSV file, and I'm going to download our Shopify pre-formatted uh, CSV file. So let's do a comparison between the two right now. So with our Shopify CSV file, you're going to see the headers right here. This is going to basically tell you what each value is and what it stands for. So your handle right here is basically, you can think of your handle as the slug on the end of an, a URL. So basically when you're typing in a, a web address, this is basically what comes in after. So it'd be greendropship.com slash this right here. Now the title, this is actually what comes up as your product name on your store. Uh, this is the first thing that people are going to see. Uh, this is what they're going to recognize. Uh, so this is important that you have it uh, formatted uh, to your liking. Your body over here is basically how you're going to describe your product. So for instance, with the Argo T, what's going to happen is that this is going to pop up in the body of your Shopify store, and it's going to tell this. It's going to describe to the customers what the product is, and give them a description and uh, help them understand what they're actually buying. Similarly, the vendor basically just says who makes the product. So in this case, it's Argo T. So now scrolling over here, uh, published. Since we're using, uh, Shopify is operating on a true and false basis. So if it's true, then it's a yes. And if it's false, then it's a no. Uh, so basically all of these are published. So they're going to be true. So you don't have to worry about that uh, changing them unless you're, of course, going through and editing them and customizing them. So now, uh, for your options, this is basically going to be if you have any variations. Um, so if you're selling t-shirts, for instance, this is going to be uh, small, large, uh, things like that. So this is where you go in and change that information. Your product SQU is basically just the identifier for your product. Now, this is basically how much the product weighs. Uh, so this is another aspect that Shopify requires you to have. Variant inventory, this is basically where you're hosting it. So of course it's going to be Shopify for everything. The inventory, which is how many products you currently have in stock. So again, you can go through and change these as you see fit in the future. And over here you see the price and if it requires shipping, uh, if it's taxable, um, the barcode. And also on the end here, you can go in and edit where these images are being pulled from. So this is really helpful if you want to do any customization on your CSV files and help you get started that way. 
So now let's go over and compare them to the traditional unformatted CSV file. Because like we said, we're right now we're taking a look at the pre-formatted Shopify CSV file. This complies with what Shopify is looking for in a CSV file. So let's go over and switch over to the regular old unformatted CSV file. So as you can see, this is a little bit different. So what's gonna happen if you try to use a regular CSV file is that it's going to give you some, some errors as you're importing it. So notice it has a lot of the similar information, but it's just the way that it's formatted that's different. So if you are importing a CSV file into Shopify, just make sure that you're using one that's pre-formatted uh, correctly uh, so that you get everything looking nice and dandy. So just in case you are going to uh, start over from scratch and you want to just get a template uh, for what they're looking for, what you do is you go over to the products tab right here on your Shopify feed, or your Shopify store rather, you go over to the import tab right here, and you can download a sample CSV template. So that way you can you can make sure that you're doing everything correctly, and that way you're, you're saving time, and you're only doing this one time. So now that we've gone over the, the differences between the CSV files pre-formatted for Shopify and the unformatted uh, regular old CSV file, then we can go over to, similar to what we were just doing, to be able to upload a CSV file, what you're going to do is you're going to go over to this import tab right here. Actually, you know what, before, before we even start this, let's talk about the old way, the, uh, the hard way to do it. Uh, what you would do is you would go over to add products right here, and that way you're going to type in everything manually, uh, your tags, uh, your title, your description, your images, pricing, all of that. So all of the information that we're doing in the CSV, or that's contained in the CSV file, you would otherwise be entering manually over here. So that's the that's the slow way to do it. So let's go over to the right way to do it uh, using a CSV file. Not the right way, but the easier way to do it. So once you've hit the import tab right here, it's going to prompt you to import products by CSV file. So then what you're going to do is you're going to click on your choose file. And then let's go over and just see what happens if we try to upload the regular unformatted CSV file. Because this does happen a lot and this does uh, kind of confuse people and people are going to get error messages if they try to do this. So now that we've selected our regular old CSV file, we're going to upload the file and you can see the progress right here. It's a little bit grayed out but you can see the blue bar kind of crawling across the screen. So what's going to happen is that you're going to see an error message like this. Um, it could be for reasons that the file size is too big, or that it doesn't recognize the format, or that it's an incorrect format. Let's go ahead and import the correct, properly formatted CSV file. So, for our green drop ship CSV file, it's going to be titled products underscore Shopify. So once you find that file, just double click it, same deal, we're going to upload it, and you can see the progress over here. So once it's finished uploading, as you can see, we didn't get an error message this time. So Shopify liked our CSV file that we tried. So what it's going to do before you actually import anything, it's going to allow you to preview your first product. So basically what this means is that you can, you can preview it before you say yes to everything. So say for instance, you uploaded the wrong file, uh, a CSV file for a different company, different uh, purpose. So you can go through and make sure that this is actually what you're looking for. So as we talked about the Argo T, Bottled Carolina Honey is our first product right here, as you can see. Sorry, that's the wrong CSV file. So, yep, right here, that's the first one, so we know that's the correct file. So we can go ahead and start the import. Make sure that everything's right down here. So this is just a demonstration, but we can start importing. So just be patient, this import process may take some time, especially depending on how many products you're importing. So be patient, go grab a snack or something, and then come back and see uh, where things are at with your import process. So that really didn't take too long. Uh, and then as you can see, then we have all of our products down here. And look at that, that was so much easier than importing everything individually. We can just go in and just check out what this looks like. And all of our information is right here. Everything looks great. It's exactly how it was in the CSV file. 
And most importantly, we saved a lot of time using the CSV file as opposed to uploading everything, uh, entering all the information in for each product individually. So hopefully you found this video tutorial helpful. Please stay tuned for more videos from greendropship.com where we're going to show you lots of cool techniques and tips to get your dropshipping business up and running.